Hi there guys, Office Boy Builder here. I hope you are well. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be installing these spindles. Before I get into the video, I'm a DIYer, I'm not a builder, I am certainly not a second fix carpenter. And I got this wrong. I, I'm pretty, I, it's, it's, I've done a really bad job. Not bad enough that I'm gonna change it. I, I haven't got the time, I haven't got the resources to be able to change it. But I wanna be able to show you what I've done wrong and provide you hopefully with some resource to avoid the mistakes that I've made, but also fix them and make sure that if you're doing it, you do a better job than me. So I'm gonna let you watch the video, then I'm gonna show you what I've done wrong, and then I will give you an example of where you can go to get it better. So these are on, as you will have seen in a previous video, and I need to put six of the spindles in, and they all need to be 86.3 millimeters away from one another. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this down and I'm gonna, I've got my chop saw down here in the hallway, it's just, just down there, and I'm gonna set up a stop block at 86.3 so that I can just do some nice easy repeat cuts. And I really was hoping that I would be able to have the spindles at three gap, three gap, but it just, I can't get it to work the way that I hoped it would. I mean, I, I, po I possibly could, but I think it's a new staircase. It's a different section of the house. It's a different period. I'm just going to do it as individual spindles. The reason I can't quite get the 86.3 is you cannot have a gap of more than 100 mil space which is what those are but if I was to do that and I leave a hundred mil and then I do the spacing and then a hundred mil and then the spacing I'd end up with an uneven a number an uneven number of spindles at the top or the bottom so I can't just do a three 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 because even then the spacing is too big so I think I figure I'm just gonna leave it leave it there and I will I'll basically just do individual ones and I'll and I'll do that the whole way up so there'll be individual, um, kind of individually spaced spindles the whole way up here. I still do need to put a, a rail on here. I've got to sort that. I need to spend a bit of time thinking about that actually, because uh, where you know I've blocked all this out and put something for it to to sit on, but I just want to spend a little bit of time just thinking about how it's going to land at the top there, because I, I think we're going to end up with a quite quite narrow doorway actually. And it's a shame there's, there's not a lot I could have done about that. You know, if I had made all of these steps, say 825 or 830 or 840 wide, so that it landed at a higher point, you know, further out this way at the top there. Actually, let me go up and I'll show you. This stairs, each of these stairs would have needed to be 100 mil wider 
you know, you see this lines up here with this rather than here, which would have been better. If I had made the staircase 100 mil wider this way, it would have completely thrown off the measurements and the dimensions for this. So I could have had a 920 staircase, but then it would have come out a bit more this way, which isn't the end of the world, but the whole lot would have come this way. And each of these steps is, goes 220 mil. So if I'd made all of them, uh, you know, if I'd made it 100, 100 mil wider, it would have been half a step. It, it basically wouldn't have worked, unfortunately. So there's not, not a lot that I could have done about that, um, I don't think. But we, we will see. We, we will, I'll figure out something. I'll, I'll sort it so there's something here and it, and it will work. These are all done now, and they're actually pretty even on the most part. The gap between them is all the same, and it's all under 100 mil. I used an app or an online calculator to figure out the distance in between, and started from one end and worked my way up. But I, I really wish, I don't know why I didn't think to look on there actually, but on the Skill Builder channel, there's a great video from about a year or so ago back in 2021, about how to do spindles and banisters and rails and everything. And Dan, the carpenter Dan, talks about that. I mean, the guy's just so, so intelligent and really, really very good at what his craft is. And he talks about how to calculate the distance on angles and on flats and all that sort of thing to get them nice and even. And I wish I had watched that because the gap here is even, even, even the whole way up. And then I get to the end and I had to add in one additional, which just looks rubbish. I, I was fine up at the top there, that, that was okay. And in the middle here, the gap there is the same as the gap up there, near enough, give or take. Uh, look, this isn't a tutorial about how to do spindles because I'm not a secondary fixed car, not a second fixed carpenter and I'm nowhere near as skilled as Dan. So I'm gonna put a link to the video below uh, to their video about how to do it and how to do it well and properly and I would encourage you to watch that rather than taking any advice from me 
What I'm going to spend my time doing now is stripping off the rest of this ceiling here, cutting all the nails off there and putting the plasterboard on. I get the plasterboard on here and to get a sheet of plasterboard down on there. So I've leveled this, so this here is level with these here and it will bring it out by about a centimetre and a half. So I'll just put a little kind of Scotia bead underneath. Similar to this actually, it'll just sit under there, kind of the whole way along and take up the difference in the, in the levels there because there's nothing I can do to specifically get them flush and I don't, I don't need to, I'm not that bothered. Here I'm going to pack out so it's the same height as this and I'll bring a sheet of plasterboard down so it's flush here and then that way I can just have a normal kind of you know right angle on, on here so I'll have to trim this down a little bit. That's fine, that's no problem. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I probably won't stick you on a time lapse for this because it's just there are so many different time lapses and so many different bits to do that I'm just going to kind of crack on and do it and then I'll show you. Same, same as I did with this bit here where I've just kind of blocked out to give the plasterboard something to land on. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Mishaps aside, I hope you found that vaguely helpful, useful, enjoyable. Don't make the same mistakes that I've made. And please do like, follow, subscribe or dislike if you really need to. Um, there's loads more coming up. There's all the plasterboarding. I've put in a really cool light that I want to show you. Uh, just up here, you'll see the light washing up there. I'm going to show you all about that. And there's loads coming up. We're still nowhere near finished. So uh, yeah, follow along for the journey. Subscribe, hit the bell icon. And if you want to support me, there's Patreon down in the description below as well. And I will see you on the next video.